Okay, so my name's Paul from Southchurch Jewelers, South End on Sea. I'm going to do a demo on this antique uh, ball bracelet. It's 18 karat gold. The links are worn out, basically. They're worn through, they're cut through, which I'll show you some more detail a bit later in the video. My job is to build those links up. So I'm going to demo a couple of links to show you how I do it. Okay, so if I was to use the old way with the flame, you'd have to heat every ball up just to do one ball. And then what would happen, the, the rings would fall off the balls. Then it, it, the job is not viable at that point because you, you'd be, be constantly having that as an issue. You're not going to get a neat job with the flame, but with the laser, hardly any contamination. You're only affecting the area you're working on. Um, you don't have to heat the balls up, um, and we can build it up with solid 18 karat gold instead of using solder. The finishes look a lot better as well. That's my demo. I'm just going to sort of try and show you what the job is. If you look really closely, you see the end of the link is worn through. Basically, the, the, the two balls are rubbed like this over a period of time and worn themselves out. So my job is to, is to bring them back to where they were. Again, tin snipping the material I need, which is 18 karat matching color. I, what I do is I, I offer the section into the, into the worn section of the, the ring. Um, and I'll just give you an idea of power as well. I'll, st I'll start low again. Always start low. Start safely. Okay. Um, there's no good going straight into it and then guessing and then just blasting the ring away because you've only got to replace it. So I'm going to test this on the on the section I'm adding. So can you see the action on that? It's nice action. I'm happy with that. So that's that's 0.9. This is 18, so it's really, really good with a laser. It's very effective. My time is 2.3, the frequency is eight. I'm gonna decrease the frequency so I've got control. Okay, I'm gonna go down to three. So the first thing I do is I, I don't hit the I don't hit the ring that I'm building up. I hit the material I'm adding to it. And if you look, I'm hitting it on the top of the section, which is a fl little flat section, and I'm hitting it on the top, and that should melt down onto the ring. If it doesn't, then I need a bit more power to do that. So in this instance, I do. So I'm going up to. 1.2. As long as you hit the uh, section you're the piece you're adding onto the ring, it shouldn't be a problem. There you go. So once we've attached, so that's now attached. Relaxing after this point because you've got control. So before I wiggle this off, I turn it around and I make sure it's attached all the way around like that. Sometimes you can blast it off, but most of the time you have to wiggle. So I'll wiggle. And off it comes. Then I have a quick look to see what material I've added, and then I blend that in. Right, so. And then I add some more, like so. Attach it, and then turn it sideways, and then from the top. What you mustn't do, you mustn't try and wiggle that off uh, if you haven't attached it properly, because you just pull it off and you're wasting your time. Sometimes what I do is I grab my cutters and I'll just trim that off like so. It leaves me a little bit of excess, which is great because I just work that in. Can you see that working in nicely? Turn it over. Now with the laser, if I, if I wanted to just have a bit more oomph to it, all I need to do is just increase it by one notch. Aim at the substance, aim at the thick part of it, not thin, because you'll just blast it away. And then just work that in. And really the skills, the skills that you need to learn on a laser I would say one of the biggest skills is efficiently infilling because the infilling side of, of the job is, uh, is used in a lot with a laser. It's one of the things that you have to learn and you have to be quite proficient and, and skilled at. So again, offering it sideways. It's not taking, so I'll increase that by one. 
when it's reflecting and shiny like that, it, it, you, you lose power in the laser. Um, again, we could go back to the black marker pen and we could, we could use that as a flux, a flush in it. Or we could do it the way I'm doing it, which is I want to add some more material. So I'm going to add the material first. Just going to increase it a little bit more. It's being a bit stubborn. Mainly because it's balled up, but it'll take. There you go. Turn it over, do the inside, like so, before you try and cut away or wiggle off. To make sure you do the underneath as well, like so, and then just wiggle that off. And then you, you, this is what I like. You end up with a little bit of excess there, and that's brilliant because that's what I want. Because I want to add that back into the ring. This is what I'm doing. Now I'm going to just demonstrate to you how the uh, black marker pen is so effective. And you can use the black marker pen not just in silver, or any material that, that's, that dissipates heat very well it's, it's, and you're struggling, then use the black marker pen. But in this instance what I'm going to do is I've added a bit more power, but I want this to push back a bit so, we get, so I'm rounding it off. Can you see that? Now that I'm shaping that and using the laser to create that to tidy this up. And I've added substance. Have a pair of parallels. Just give it a quick squeeze. And run over it and make sure it's nice and neat. I'm going to polish this in a second to show you the result. There you go. That's 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 not built up. That's built up. That's not built up. That's built up. And then just run it into the mop. So how good is that? Yeah. And if I go if I turn this over and show you before. That's worn. And then that's built up. So this would be a job you could do with a laser.